All right. Now, this is river birch. But before we get into the species, the specifics, let me talk about just birches. What tells you, like oaks, you know, clustered buds, acorns. What's common to the Betulaceae? And one of the best things are these peculiar little, I think they look like bird's toes. Funny little green things, bird's feet. Those are male flowers known as catkins. C-A-T-K-I-N-S. And in short, birches have catkins. So when you look up and you see these little bird's toes, and you're going to have other birches, and they have these little green, and they're in various clusters. They look like fingers. Okay. You know, hey, I've got a Betulaceae. Will they be there all year? They're there in the winter. Yep. So those basically are male flower buds. It's big. Okay. <laughs> Other things have catkins, but they're hidden up in the buds. So these have preformed catkins, and they tell you, I got a Betulaceae. That's all of them. You know, river birch has, in particular, a very strong, this is the first time you've had this, a doubly serrated leaf. That means big teeth with little teeth all over the big teeth. So a doubly serrated leaf that looks a bit like an arrowhead, wedge-based, right? Kind of a vicious arrowhead, okay? okay? That'd be a vicious little hunting tip there, okay? Double serrations on it. So that's a classic kind of river birch leaf. The bark gets a lot of salmon color in it. We've had, that's sort of been a mini theme today, I guess. But I want you to look up. This is probably the biggest river birch you're probably ever gonna see. You look up like to that four inch and look what the bark is doing. Like Super shreddy, papery, peely, but salmon color. So this is a good little lesson we, we put these two together. When you have a big tree, you have all sizes of trees. Like if you're like, well, I only know what little ones look like. Well, find a four inch stem like that one I showed you and it will have that. So a big tree has every size on it. For some reason, you say, I only know what a one-inch stem looks like. Well, go find a one-inch limb. That's what a one-inch tree looks like. So that tree had has that has this bark on it. But when it gets big, it changes the colors there. But it's no longer peeling. There's just too much cork in it. It doesn't do that anymore.